I want to head over to Bloomberg Radio Surveillance with Tom Keene and Ken Pruitt. They are joined by Morgan Stanley, Asia Chairman Stephen Roach. That's, a, that's uh, especially problematic for a lifetime uh, saving mm. and spending uh, decisions. But the trick in, in China is not to look at the overall population, at least right now, and to recognize that the mix of this population is changing dramatically from rural to urban. So even with a fixed population of 1.3 billion, they can experience rapid growth mm -hmm. in the urban population, which, which supports uh, the property and infrastructure investment, which is in direct contrast to those who are uh, bemoaning uh, the downside of a property and infrastructure bubble in China. Well, we welcome all from Bloomberg Television. Good morning, Betty Lou, and good morning to all of you worldwide. Steve, the focus on the U.S. Uh, deficit, uh, Professor Summers, the former Secretary of the Treasury with an op-ed in the FT uh, today, and he says, look, we're going to get this solved. Growth will help us here a lot. I don't have the exact phrasing here. Uh, here it is during the next five years, the U.S is expected to experience the fastest deficit reduction since the Second World War. Can we grow our way out of this deficit challenge we have? I think it's going to be challenging because the, the growth rate that would solve the equation that Larry Summers is, is implicitly alluding to is probably a good deal higher than the anemic growth that seems likely in the U.S. over the next um, uh, four to five years. So uh, in, in, in theory, uh, rapid growth will lead to an increase in, in revenues, but you know that theory is predicated on, a, on what could well be a very dubious assumption on the growth rate. What would you like to see from the president right now? Many talking about a rhetorical framework to get us beyond stimulus to uh, the responsibility of deficit reduction. It, it won't be just a speech, will it? What do we need more than a speech? Well, you know, the president is is, is walking a, a fine line, and Larry Summers alluded to it uh, in his piece in the Financial Times today, Tom, where right now the focus remains on fiscal stimulus, but down the road the focus remains on uh, exit strategies, uh, deficit reduction, which, by the way, would also be true uh, for Mr. Bernanke and the Fed. And I think the, the real failure on the exit strategies for both fiscal and monetary authorities is that they're not specific enough. They're not credible enough. Uh, and there's, there's, there's good reason to, doubt, uh, to, to suspect that, you know, when uh, we get through this year or next year, that the, the strategy in Washington is just to keep kicking the can down the road. That, yeah, we'll, mm -hmm. we'll get out of this mess at some point, but not right now because things are too uh, precarious. And I think what the markets are ultimately going to want is far more specificity and credibility Right. On, on deficit reduction and, and normalization of uh, uh, Fed policy. Could, could we take what you just said and, and go back in time to the early 1980s? Yeah, I think in the, in the early 1980s, uh, we, we had um, these aggressive uh, Reagan tax cuts. And then ultimately, at the end of the 80s, we had the, you know, the, the grand rub and Hollings uh, guidelines that really forced us to, to, um, uh, in, into a mode of fiscal consolidation. And, because and a lot the of Congress didn't trust over itself. the deficit and everything, too. Yeah, the and, and then we, you know, we, we actually, uh, in the early 90s, as uh, the Clinton administration will be quick to tell you, we actually ran you know, a surplus for a couple of hours. So uh, you know, we, need, you know, we, we definitely need some hard and mm -hmm. fast rules that help us get out of we, this, this mess we're We've in. talked about Asia. We've talked about Europe. Now we talk about the U.S. Steve Roach, where are you focused on geographically? We see Hungary this morning, Slovakia this morning with the IMF. Where are you watching most closely in the world today? Well, look, I'm, I'm still hooked on, on Asia, and um, in particular, the interplay between the U.S. and, and China uh, remains at the top mm. of my agenda, Tom. Do you realize that the airline industry has gone into depression because you stopped flying around the world so much living in China? Well, I'll be, I'll be going back to Asia uh, once a month. Uh, I do miss my favorite flight crews on Cathay Pacific, and I've been— <laughs> Who you all know by first <laughs> name, uh, including we, the uh, luggage we're all, people. We're all part well, that of was Bloomberg Radio's Tom Keene with Stephen Roach, the chairman of Morgan Stanley Asia.